What's up, Glamour Ghouls? Welcome back. First and foremost, have y'all had this? Have you had this pumpkin cream cold brew? I'm not a PSL girl, never have been. This is, I'm insatiable. It's so good. So I know I said we weren't Halloween decor hunting this week. I know I said I was lacking inspiration, wasn't feeling like anything was turning in my wheels. And you all, first of all, were awesome on Instagram. So many cool video ideas. Thank you so much for that. 95% of you want to see a spooky closet tour and I promise you it is coming. I am waiting for a couple of things to arrive and I want to include everything in that one video for you. So uh, I do promise that is on its way. It is uh, just just around the bend, um, but I am waiting to get a couple more things in the mail. Sorry, I have to keep my sunglasses on because it's, it's early in the morning and the sun is like really coming in at a, a specific angle. <laughs> so lots of you want to see a spooky wardrobe tour. It's in the works. And then for some ungodly reason, a ton of you want to see me bake and I don't know where that's coming from. Again, like I said on Instagram, let me be clear, I cannot bake, but I will do it for the, for the people. If that's what the people want, I will bake. Just call me Christine McConnell, I guess. Don't call me that. It's not gonna be good, but we're gonna do it because y'all requested it. And just remember, when it goes badly, that you requested it. <laughs> but that's gonna be next week's video because next week's video will come out the day before my birthday. So we're gonna bake some spooky birthday treats. I don't know what that's gonna look like exactly, but uh, it is coming. So just remember, you asked for this. <laughs> but today, we are decor hunting, and let me tell you why. My spirit is finally open. If you have been joining me regularly on my misadventures the last couple of months, you will know that my spirit Halloween, the one close to my house, has betrayed me now thrice because it was supposed to open on like the 19th and then the 21st and then the 20, like fit. I don't know. It's been literally pushed back a gajillion times. So I have driven to three or four spirits at this point. Um, two of which are 45 minutes away from me in opposite directions. I have been searching high and low for the vintage monster masks and uh, for this Beetlejuice marquee sign. So what we are doing today is we are going to the absolute most top extreme and I am sitting outside of Spirit waiting for it to open in 10 minutes for the first time. It's, it's not been open yet. It opens today. There's a sign on the door that says open 828 at 11 a.m. So when they open, I'm gonna rush in there <laughs> and find these friggin' monster masks, hopefully, because if you wait even like a couple days after a spirit's been opened, they're gone. Like people, I think they blew up on Instagram and people have just been. <sighs> also probably gonna hit Target dollar spot today because they're starting to put stuff out and um, probably do my usual rounds, try out Marshalls and Home Goods, see if they've got their stuff out. And uh, I think I'm gonna hit Lowe's today too, because I've seen that Lowe's has a Universal Monsters line out for Halloween, which is very exciting to me because you know I love Universal Monsters. I think um, since we're right here and we're waiting on Spirit to open, I'm gonna pop in to Target because it's literally next door and uh, just check out their dollar spot since it's right inside the door there. And uh, we'll do that. And then we'll go to Spirit. Okay, so they had some stuff out, more stuff than the last time I was there. And um, they had some cute stuff. They had, um, I think they were supposed to be like doormats. I don't know, or placemats, I'm not sure. But they said like, the neighbors have the good candy. And they had one that said, we're really into Halloween. <laughs> um, some like witch's broom, hanging decor type things, just some small, like maybe little th five inch witch brooms. Um, they had some spooky trees, which that's, I get a lot of my little like filler spooky trees from Target. And um, they had ones that were different this year though. They weren't the glittery ones. They were in these little like pots with a skull on them and they were like velvety. 
they had some good little cute cheap banners um garland type things they had one that was like a black cat and pumpkins they had one that were like little pumpkin pom-poms and then they had one that was kind of like a little witch clothes line like had little witch clothes hanging up on it that was cute um they had some wooden decor. There was like a little standing witch hat and a pumpkin. And then there were these really cool, I don't know what they, like what you would use them for, but they were super neat looking. Um, they had one that said like wicked potions and looked more kind of cottagey, like a spice rack almost. And then they had one that looked like a fireplace that said like potions and elixirs or something um, that was black. It was really kind of cool looking for five bucks. It was kind of, I don't know. Again, I don't know what I would use it for, but it was cool. <laughs> oh, and they had like a tombstone chalkboard, like this black RIP little hanging chalkboard. Um, I think that was it. But, oh, and they had those little wide mouth ceramic guys, um, like the witch and the jack-o'-lantern. Um, that you can like put a candle in or some people use them I think to put your little like kitchen scrubby in there by your sink and um, so yeah overall fairly well stocked for uh anywhere else that I've been to Target yet <laughs> um I went to another Target a couple days ago and they had um just like one sign out that said 31 it was like a little circle sign that had 31st on it and then they had like a pillow or something that said like happy haunting or I don't remember. It did also pop into Kohl's since they were just like right there and um, I'll drop some of that footage here. They had a couple cool things, um, not a ton of stuff and, and I've experienced this several places now, their Halloween stuff was already on clearance and that just like that makes me wonder is there gonna be like November 1st is that gonna be a thing this year if Halloween's already on clearance in like August are we gonna be able to buy Halloween clearance the day after Halloween I don't know but um they did have one thing that I'm probably gonna regret not getting but I couldn't justify spending the money on it because it was like $50 or something ridiculous but it was this really cool candle thing that reminded me a lot of the bat pedestal globe from Bath and Body Works and it like was orange and had this silhouette of a witch spinning around in it with glitter and it lit up um the flame on top like flickered it was super cool um and they had like just a little pumpkin globe that lit up and swirled kind of that crystal ball looks look in it um they had just some cute little tchotchkes. They did have a cute garland that I almost got that had like um, kind of that hand crafted looking like felted cat, moon, pumpkin skull, little plushies hanging on a garland. That was cute. Um, and they did have like a cute palette pumpkin sign, like this big wooden palette jack lantern that lit up. So they had some cute stuff, um, but yeah just weird they had like one little end cap of Halloween and it was like 40 and 50 percent off all right I'm gonna pop in here wish me luck let's hope we find what we're looking for please it's time all right well once again <laughs> this spirit has let me down uh there was a there's a sign on their door that says open 828 at 11 a.m. And there was a line of people waiting outside at like 1040. And we waited. And then this woman at like 1107 <laughs> pops her little head through the door and she's like, hey, um, we're not going to be open for a few hours. We're waiting on approval to open from corporate. What does that mean? What is it? Okay, like your store says it's open today at 11 a.m. What approval do you need? Whatever. They're obviously having some issues getting their act together because this is the third time that their opening has been delayed. I don't know what's happening with this particular location. Well, I've got a few hours to kill now, I guess. I'm so miffed. Like, I got up early and like got 
dressed cute and did my hair and did my makeup. Well, I didn't do my hair, I put it up. Why are you gotta do me like this, Spirit? This sucks. Okay, so it ended up being a blessing earlier that um, Spirit wasn't open because my camera died almost immediately after I left the parking lot. Um, I think they are open now. It looks like I see people coming in and out. So, uh, camera's charged. I am ready, Freddy. Let's go! Oh my god. Do you see them? finding things you were looking for. I'm just gonna show you one of them because I'm gonna make you wait for the haul. But I found the mummy. I was looking for the mummy and the werewolf and the Dracula and I found all three of them. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, they also had a couple animatronics that I haven't seen in stores yet. They had the soul gatherer or whatever his name is. Um, but they were missing quite a few animatronics still. They didn't have like Crouchy, the clown at the entrance. And they didn't have uh, Miserable Murray. Like they were missing quite a few of the animatronics still. Um, they had the like crouchy crawler guy um, and the, you don't want to wake up my mother. <laughs> but yeah, they had a lot more of the like decor stuff than several of the spirits I've been to. And they had all of the like it stuff. They're doing these really cool, I like these decor this year where it's like a news tabloid of the killers from the stories. So it's like they have one for Michael Myers and they have one from like Dairy for It. Um, yeah, lots of cool wall stuff this year. They didn't have the Beetlejuice marquee sign. They did have more Beetlejuice stuff than I've seen. They had the candlesticks and the mugs and a wine glass that said, I myself am strange and unusual. Um, 
but the woman in there said that they have another shipment coming next week and that they are expecting more Beetlejuice stuff and that the signs are supposed to, the marquee sign is supposed to be coming to their store um, eventually. So <laughs> this might be one of those things where I just have to keep stalking the store until I find it. But overall, I'm very excited. It's been a good day for my ISOs, my in search ofs. Something I didn't get on camera and I'm so sorry, my camera died. I did show you on Instagram. Uh, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I would recommend it, at Midge Munster. Um, over there, I give you like the latest breaking code orange when it happens. And uh, if my camera dies, I will resort to that to show you footage of what I found. Um, I found that Home Goods had all of their stuff out today, all of it. Uh, I went there when Spirit wasn't open and oh, it was a huge coat of orange, it was so great. Um, and I finally found my freaking mugs. <laughs> you all who have been adventuring with me will know I've been dying, I've been looking high and low for these freaking mugs and I found them. Uh, as well as a few other things that I've been wanting for a couple of years. So uh, yeah, it's been a very successful day. I'm in a very good mood. <laughs> and I was happy with this spirit overall. Like the layout was really nice. The aisles were wider. So there was just like more room to really look at stuff. And I didn't feel like I was like packed on top of other people. I'm just, I'm in a great mood. Where should we go now? <laughs> I was gonna just kind of be like, and I got, went to spirit and that's it. But I don't think I can. I'm like so excited to be out and finding things. Okay, let's go up the road. We're gonna go to Marshall's, see if they also have their stuff out since Home Goods does. And it's likely that they do too. And then I do wanna go to Lowe's. Uh, Cause like I said, they've got a, uh, a Universal Monsters collection that I keep seeing online just in the last couple days. And I'm very interested. So Lowe's, Marshall's, Let's go. Okay, I couldn't help myself. There's a Joanne right here. So, whoa, that's me. So we're gonna pop in real quick and see. I see pillows out front. <laughs> so let's see what they have. Just a bunch of Hocus Pocus, pom-poms. Creepy, I like that. A little boo. And happy haunting. These don't have prices on them. Oh, $39.99. Holy hell. Okay, these are $40 pillows. It's kind of crazy. Let's go see what's up. Also, Halloween socks. like Halloween baking stuff out. I kind of like these. These are cute. These are on clearance too, man. What's happening? That's some cute little silicone bake guys. Also just like sprinkles and stuff. I have not cutters. Mm -hmm. I need some little like spooky, ooh, cake pans. That might uh, fit in with what we're doing next week, huh? More pillows. Ooh, that's cool. I don't want to spend $40 on a pillow though, but I really like that, dang it. They're definitely clearing aisles. This is the only actual decor I've seen. 50% off. They're really already clearing stuff, that's crazy. Like Halloween craft stuff out, but looks like that's it. They've got some ribbon. Oh, that's fun. 
All right. All right, so as you saw, not much of anything at Joanne. Um, they did have some new pillows out. That gives me hope that maybe they're bringing more stuff in because the last few times when I've checked there and it's just been the baking stuff and it's been on clearance, I've been like, they're not getting any Halloween. <laughs> um, but it seems like they probably are slowly getting more stuff in, so that's exciting. I'm at Lowe's now. Let's hope they have got this Universal Monster collection because I'm very excited to see it. Okay, but this is hilarious. Booyah. <laughs> they know. Ooh. Wow. Here's some of the Universal Monsters. Nine foot Frankenstein. Oh, this is cool. I like that. Oh, here's another big. Ooh. This is $40. That's actually not bad. That's huge. Some shadow lights. Oh, I can tell there's an eyeball in there. How do you get it to go? Oh, here we go. Oh, that like a cauldron that lights. That's cool. That looks like Jack. It's like Beetlejuice. <laughs> Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of the Fire? <laughs> yes, come closer. Come right up this way. <laughs> One of those doorbells. Oh, if they had this at Big Lots. And then we've got this little like. <laughs> That's funny. Lots. This is what I always love about Lowe's. They always have tons of different styles of jack. Ooh. I don't have one like that. I'm gonna have to get him. That's cool. That one does like a flame and laughs. And a little stack of them. Cute. I'm not seeing more of that Universal Monster stuff yet, though. Ooh, spooky. Oh, I see it. We've got some. Tombstones and stuff out. Looks like they're still getting some stuff out. But I see more universal stuff over here. There's a <laughs> big plush bride and Frank. I don't think they do anything. They just are, yeah, just a greeter. They don't do anything special. Bride's kind of cute. Oh, that is a. Uh, that is not great. Oh, it's this. So who was looking at saying? Uh, let's see. Oh, this does something. Just like that. <laughs> yes! Yes! I can't tell how to get this to go, but it looks like it lights up with Frankenstein's. In it. Mm. 
so. I love that it's like Gene Wilder's voice from Young Frankenstein. Oh, there's a coffin sign. Y'all know I've been looking for. I want that one that says Home Sweet Haunted Home, but that's kind of cute. Doormats. Oh, here's some more. Some pumpkin things. You can stick in your pumpkin. We've got the mummy hand. Doesn't seem to be functioning. We've got <laughs> a bubbling jar with eyeballs in it. got projectors that do Frank and Bride and Frank and got like a bubbling beaker and another There's something to be afraid of just some stitches <laughs> Oh, here's a cute little, like, cloche with them both in it. Woman! Friend! Yes! I want friend like me! Looks like it just projects Frankenstein, but that's pretty cool. Got some spooky hanging scaries, more jack o' lanterns. Some little jack o' lanterns. <laughs> okay. Oh, like a ton of inflatables and stuff. I'm not entirely sure what you're supposed to put on top of these. But I think you could like set a jack-o-lantern up on one. It'd be pretty cute. Yeah, here. Maybe that is what you do with it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, I'm really hyped about these. Pretty freaking cool. Even Mike. about everything they've got so I'm gonna grab a couple things 
and I'll meet you back in my car. All right, yay! Thanks, Lowe's. <laughs> uh, yeah, so obviously big fatty fat fat code orange at Lowe's also. Um, they had some cool stuff. Uh, I didn't get much just because, again, I'm, I'm kind of in a holding pattern until I decorate and kind of figure out what exactly my themes are in each space, uh, what I'm missing, what I like, what gaps I need to fill in my new house. So um, I didn't buy a whole ton, um, but it was very fun to see all that stuff and uh, to actually get to see the like Universal Monster stuff in person because I've been seeing that and I didn't really know what it was like, what the deal was. So um, and I'm glad I could talk to you in there because it's so much better for me when I can chat with you in the moment than come back into the car and try to recap everything because I get so like excited and overwhelmed by everything that I like forget what I saw when I get like back in the car. I'm like, uh. All right, so uh, I think that maybe this is gonna be our last stop today. We're gonna go to Marshall's and uh, see if they have gotten the memo because apparently everyone else has finally gotten the memo that it is time for Halloween. Um, I'm gonna go check them out. Maybe we'll find uh, those mugs again and you can experience my excitement all over because I did only find the black ones at the Home Goods in Liberty and not the, I didn't find any of the white, which I wanted the black more but if I found a white, it'd be cute to have them as a little pair. So let's go find out what they have. Okay, so Marshall's still not a ton of stuff. Um, definitely like a full shelf area with, you know, some dishes. And there's so many gnomes this year. I feel like we've talked about this a couple times now, but like, what is with the gnome thing? <laughs> They're everywhere. Um, they did have a couple of new pillows out. Everything they had before, like any of the Ray Dunn stuff is gone. And um, they had one style of blanket out and a couple little different like uh, steak, like yard steaks, like some mummy arms and some skeleton hands and some witch legs. And they did have the crystal ball that I got I think here last year or TJ Maxx maybe, I don't remember which, um, but it has like the gold hands wrapped up around it and it swirls and lights up. Um, it's really pretty cool for the price. Um, I got it last year and I've been really happy with it. But yeah, they still just don't have a ton out, so, but that's okay. We found just about everything we went out looking for today. Um, I got my masks, I got my mugs. I am so mad that I couldn't film it at Home Goods because it was packed. I'll put up a picture here of the picture I took in the store just so you can like see how <laughs> packed with stuff it was. Um, just like all those cool fabric witches and um, <laughs> like this really funny hipster Frankenstein thing that was hilarious to me um, just all kinds of dishware and pumpkins and it was it was really cool and I'm so sorry that I didn't show you um, but we'll go back I'll go up there and film um, I, it's only gonna get more from here on out so I think that is gonna be it for today because I feel really good about everything we've done <laughs> Um, I feel like this is a complete video. We're ready to wrap up. So thank you all so much again for watching. Um, I didn't say this at the top of the video and I should have, but uh, as of today, I have officially been able to apply to monetize this channel. And that is, <sighs> I'm gonna try not to cry. <laughs> that is something that I just never, I never, thought I would get to this point, or at least I thought it would take several years. Um, thank you. That's, I mean, I just thank you so much for everyone who is watching and commenting and subscribing. And I have found my community here. You all are the best and I, I love hanging out with you every week. So thank you so much.
that being said, um, please, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. I uh, would love to have you join our Glamour Ghoul gang. It would mean so much to me to have you stick around and uh, drop a comment. Tell me what your favorite thing you saw was today. What's making your Halloween wish list this year? And as always, if you want the latest breaking code oranges in the moment when they happen, you can follow me on Instagram at Midge Munster. I post live to my stories when I'm out hunting so you can know the moment I know when something is out there for you to go and look at. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so much. I love you all and I am so excited to hang out with you again next week. Until then, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye! Come out to socialize.